Hi there, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber C today. I have a question from Kevin, so I'm going to read you his, his message to me here. Dear Cyber Sue, why can't I walk away from my one-sided relationship? I've been with my partner for five years, and while I can honestly say I do love her, I'm always putting in way more effort into our relationship than she is. It's my own fault as I started out always being the giver without having expectations back from her. I enjoy making her happy, but it's now taking a toll on me and I'm used, I'm feeling very used. She does a few little things for me here and there, but romantically she's not there much at all. Is it possible to change things up so that we can have a reciprocated partnership? Thank you so much, Kevin. And the one thing that you figured out, Kevin, was that you allowed this to go on in the beginning. And so now it's taken on this role where you're the one that's always doing all the work to keep your relationship going. This is sort of a codependent situation that you've got yourself in. This doesn't do you any favors, unfortunately, because what happens is when people are given so much, they start taking it for granted. I'm not saying that they don't appreciate it in the beginning, but as time goes by, it's expected. You do so much for them, now that's just the norm. And the fact that she gives you a little bit keeps you thinking, okay, she cares, she's there. But she's not giving you enough because you're saying it's one-sided. So you're feeling the effects of how this relationship is like the teeter-totters up here. And it needs to be balanced. You can't have a relationship where it's one person doing all the work. What is good about having a reciprocated relationship, you both feel like you're a priority. You've allowed this to go on for quite a while now, and it's going to be hard to adapt to making changes. And it's going to have to be you that does a lot of the, the initial work here, because you're going to have to say to yourself, I have to pull back. I cannot be sitting here constantly giving her every little thing and taking nothing for myself and not feeling valued by my partner. You started out the relationship being a good guy. You want to make her happy and that's wonderful. But you have to have boundaries, Kevin. Boundaries mean you, you respect yourself. And by giving everything to her and having no expectations back, just allows this relationship to be really on an uneven keel here. And this is why you're feeling used. You're feeling like, what am I doing? I am now in a relationship where I'm getting nothing back. And the fact that you said she's not even being romantic anymore. So it sounds like it's taken on even almost like a platonic feel to it. And you're the guy that does everything for her and she just keeps taking. You have to pull back from her now. If you want to make this work, you might have to see a counselor about it for yourself to figure out how to handle this, this new you because you've been doing it for this long. A lot of people will say, oh, she'll never change because this is how you've allowed her to be. But I don't agree with that. If you learn how to change and pull back a little bit and just tell her, you know, I need to get something back and, and own your stuff, own it. I made a mistake. I was so there and you know, I, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a little bit empty right now because I don't feel like I'm getting anything back from you. And if, if she doesn't, if you, as I said, if you don't respect yourself, then she might not respect you either. You want a partner. So you have to start pulling back a little bit, taking time for yourself, getting out of the house so that there's not that pull to go and go and do things for her. Get get out of there and go be with your friends or do something just outside of the home a couple of times a week and just pull back a little bit on everything that you've been doing and if she starts to get frustrated and say what's happened you changed to say look I just need some I need to get something back you know I made the mistake of going into a relationship under these conditions and I really need you to be there for me too I need to feel that you're connected, that you're involved, and you're invested in our relationship. The good thing here is that you know this isn't what you want 
to moving forward you want to make it so that you are in a really good partnership that's reciprocated you want to feel like you're a priority to her so you have to start showing her what that means and the way you do that is by not giving every little thing to her all the time it will cause a rift in the beginning because she'll say what's happening why are you doing this why are you changing it might be something that works out really well for you guys moving on down the road, but you might need, as I said earlier, some counseling or therapy to, to help you. How do you transition from being that sort of codependent guy to this guy that now understands that he needs to be a priority in his own relationship? I think it's really important for you to also understand what made you be this way with her. Has this always been something that you've done in every relationship? Was this something you witnessed growing up in your own family life? Because sometimes when you always give to somebody, it's, there's a bit of a fear that they're going to leave you. So you want to make sure they're always happy. They're always taken care of. So there's nothing for them to argue with you about. It's just everything's so smooth. But people still want to have a little bit of a challenge and some where you feel like you're you're on the same page with how you think about things, what you do for each other, it's give and take, all those things that make a really great relationship. Because if you're always being the one that gives everything to your partner, you're getting the short end of the stick. You're not getting anything back. And how is that valuable to you? I mean, giving to somebody I know is, is nice, it feels great for a lot of people, but it also feels great to be on the receiving end once in a while. And you have to understand that you deserve that. And that's a respectful way for your partner to be with you. She may resent you a little bit in the beginning because you're changing up the dynamics of what's been really good for her. But in the long run, she's going to really respect you for doing so. And I think, you've, I think you have a chance to make your relationship work. But don't leave it any longer. Get some help if you need it. It's not always easy to change something that you've been doing for this long. So get some help and get a few tools to work with and make it happen. Thanks for writing, Kevin. I really appreciate you taking the time to do so. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so and leave any comments you have. Thanks so much, everyone.